most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Welcome back. Perhaps you heard a little bit of thunder overnight, some bursts of heavy rain, but it did not last long for much of the region. There was actually a flash flood emergency issued for Baltimore City in the middle of the night. That's where the heavy rain was south of the Maryland border. But now looking at everything, our chances are gone. Those showers and storms well to the northeast. This front is something to remember because it's been kind of the wild card, if you will, in the forecast for Hurricane Lee. So all these things end up working together. And truly, when we look at a forecast, you got to look at all the details. Here is one detail from last night that's pretty astonishing. We had one line of showers come over the mountains to our west that provided maybe a half inch of rain and then a huge gap for areas west of Harrisburg, including the Cumberland Valley, which has really been drought stricken here over the summer. So those drought conditions will likely continue where it did rain far northern York County into parts of western Lancaster and southern Lebanon counties. That was pretty much it. Maybe a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain in those locations. But now we're back to sunshine and here you can see some of the grass at Chippensburg University. Everything looking kind of dry and cr crunchy there were parts of the Cumberland Valley. Palmyra right now just seeing those passing clouds, a lot of sunshine and temperatures. I mentioned this yesterday it would be in the 60s to our west, and that's exactly where those readings are 64 in Johnstown, but 74 in Williamsport still in the 70s east of the mountains, and now that dry air beginning to work through. So when the air dries out like this, it leads to cooler afternoons, more comfortable afternoons, but also Heading into tonight, it'll be on the chillier side too. Let's show you our forecast today. A lot of us get into the mid 70s. I really don't know if there will be a lot of locations that get to 80 degrees today. It's possible, but I do think the bigger focus tonight will be temperatures in the 50s and some of the outlying valley locations west of our region could be easily into the 40s. So here's the big map right now coming onto your screen is Hurricane Lee as it is going to basically just go to our east. There's a little window here where it's going to sneak away from us, but still New England and parts of the Canadian provinces do have to watch for landfall here. So it is a category three storm. It is likely to be capped at that strength. We don't expect too much more strengthening. In fact, if anything, it'll weaken to category two and eventually category one status before getting close to landfall later this weekend. So either again, the Canadian provinces or parts of Maine. That looks to be where the center of the storm is, but it's so large that impacts will be outside of the center of the storm too for parts of New England. Keep that in mind if you have travel plans or friends and family in that region. But for us, we're on the sunny side of that weather pattern and it looks tremendous here through the weekend. Temperatures holding in the 70s. We'll be right back.